This is one of the coldest spots in the entire continental US. Actually today, it's kind of a balmy 20 degrees or so, but it often gets 30 degrees below zero or more here. This is Baudette, Minnesota, of snowballs throw away from Canada and the perfect site for the Automotive Enviro Testing Center. This is an 800 acre facility and I'm standing on the world's largest snow covered vehicle dynamics area. And why would you need a place this big? To do things like this. The AET site is built on the grounds of a former U.S. Air Force radar base, built in 1959 to watch for incoming Russian bombers. Today, the AET test facility covers 820 land acres and includes almost every possible winter testing course you could want. Every winter, Acura brings its Ohio-based engineering team to AET for six to eight punishing weeks, where they push prototypes and test vehicles to the max in brutal yet incredibly well-controlled conditions. They have all kinds of courses here, and we're gonna show you a bunch of them, including the coldest one. Well, it's toasty warm in here, but behind me is the meat locker. It's about 30 degrees below zero inside right now, and there's an Acura ZDX being torture tested as I speak. I don't really wanna go in, but it's all part of the job. Let's have a look. Ouch! It is wicked cold in here. This car is going to be soaked down, and then they're going to start it up and drive it away and see how the power steering feels and how the engine responds and all the fluids deal with this kind of temperature. It's so cold in here. Remember that scene in Christmas Story where the little kid sticks his tongue on the flagpole and it freezes? If I just put my bare hand on this door handle, it would freeze on. All right, now it's about 40 degrees below zero in here. But to give you an idea of how cold that is, this is a cup of water. Vaporized. I am out of here. This is a big old trough of slush. Acura engineers bring the vehicle through this, picks up the water, then they go out in an autocross course until it freezes. They do this enough times the vehicle can actually accumulate around 800 pounds of ice underneath. It gets caked in the wheel arches, all under the components underneath. But the objective is to make sure the car remains fully drivable, even in this condition. This part of AET is a series of grades. They've got 10%, 20%. Right now I'm walking up a 30% grade. Now they have versions of them that are completely covered with snow, but this one is called a split muse surface. This is pure ice right here. And a conventional car would never be able to make it up here. We just spin its tires and roll downhill. This Acura, the super handling all wheel drive, is able to vector the torque to the dry side of the car and make it up with relative ease. We're back at the vehicle dynamics area now, and this is a very, very carefully groomed surface. This hard packed snow has about one third the grip of conventional dry pavement, and that allows Acura engineers to do all kinds of interesting tests testing maximum grip on snow. They can run vehicle stability assist on or off. They can do braking tests on snow, acceleration, all the things that help them develop their super handling all wheel drive system. And of course, they run a lot of competitive vehicles too. Right now, they've got a Infiniti FX35 up against the Acura ZDX. This part of the AET facility is known as the ICE VDA. I've got pure ice underneath me. And I've got the traction control system turned fully off in this car. Let's see what that does for me. Not going anywhere fast, that's for sure. Whoops. The Ecker engineers tell me they don't do much instrumented testing out here at AET. It's more of an organic thing. They want to know how the vehicle feels. And to that end, in addition to all the other courses they have here, we're on a little off-road course they've set up here in the woods today. We've got an MDX. This isn't hardcore land rovering, but this is about as hard as you'd ever push an MDX in real life. And they've got some good ups and downs here, some 
fairly deep powder and also it's a good chance to test the vehicle's articulation. Is the uh, structure flexing over some of these bigger bumps and whoop de doops and coming over a chassis flex section here which will drive sideways over these whoop de doos and you can see the structure feels very tight. Not hearing any creaking and groaning as it goes back and forth. It's just another one of the components of real world testing they do here at Acura at the AET Center. Well, we saved the best part of the uh, test track here for last. That's the autocross course. The Acura engineers will admit that this is by far their most favorite part of the AET facility because here is where it all comes together. It's a snow-covered road course, basically, that allows them to test the chassis setup in pretty good safety here. It's very slippery and it's actually a lot of fun because here you can do all kinds of nasty things like hanging out the tail, drifting to here through corners a little bit, and right now we're running without stability control on, so this TL all-wheel drive with the, the new six-speed manual is uh, really fun to go through here. All right, as I come up to this corner, now I'm gonna put vehicle stability assist back on. And already it's raining in the car. I've got my foot now flat to the floor. But this is how grandma would like to drive the TL. Very comfortably, go into a corner here, there's a little bit of ice, the car starts to rotate, and then the system steps in automatically with braking action if it needs to, retarding the throttle. And interestingly too, the system also works with the super handling all-wheel drive to, you know, to vector torque first. If that's not enough, then the stability electronics step in. Again, full throttle, and throttle comes back automatically. No slipping, no sliding. Well, darkness may have fallen here at AET, and it's getting really cold outside, but the action certainly hasn't stopped. These guys work 24-7 to keep this snow surface groomed as consistent as possible, and they use some incredible machines to do it. In fact, they even customize a lot of the grooming equipment themselves. Well, outside, the temperature is nose diving to zero. But in the cabin of this quad track, it's actually quite cozy. In fact, I could take my jacket off and be perfectly happy. These guys run these machines all night long to keep this snow surface perfect. But these are very, very advanced machines. In fact, using this GPS equipment, the tractor can actually drive itself around a preset course. So while this facility may never sleep, I think I'm going to.